I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today, at the RSNA meeting in Chicago. Researchers say that improved blood flow and vasculature may be the mechanisms by which exercising protects against cognitive decline. Using 3D computer modeling, the researchers found that older adults who exercise regularly have increased cerebral blood flow and a larger number of small vessels in the brain. Faraz Rahman, a medical student at Jefferson Medical College in Philadelphia, presented the study. Aerobic exercise, aerobic exercise being um, um, defined as exercise that, you know, you break a sweat, um, it improves cognitive function. It has other effects on aging as well. Uh, it increases brain size. So it kind of counteracts the effects of aging on the brain. So the question is, how does this happen? How does exercise um, alter these effects? And our theory was that it's due to the effect on the blood flow and the vasculature. We recruited uh, older adults age 60 to 80, and these were healthy adults with no active medical diseases. Um, half of them engaged in aerobic exercise for more than three hours per week, and they had been doing this consistently for over 10 years. The inactive group had engaged in aerobic exercise for less than an hour and a half per week, and they'd been doing this for over 10 years as well. So now, for each territory, each artery territory, we have both a structural measure of the vessels, how big they are, and a functional measure of the blood flow in that region. We wanted to see if these are related in some way. So in the active subjects, as the average vessel radius goes up, the blood flow goes up as well, which is kind of what you would expect. In the inactive subjects, however, as the average radius went up, the blood flow actually went down. So we can see here that there is a significant difference, there's a significant increase in the number of vessels in the active group compared to the inactive group. We did find that individuals who engage in aerobic exercise have more small blood vessels in their brains. And in these active subjects, the blood flow is positively related to their average radius. And the less active subjects, this is negative, however. So aerobic exercise can, is a vital part of healthy aging, and this might be the reason that it might slow the loss of small blood vessels. Raman said future studies should follow these patients and assess them for cognitive decline. This study, we took older adults who already were exercising, already weren't exercising in their own, you know, with their own lives, uh, in their own choice. Uh, it, wasn't a, it was just a cross-sectional retrospective study. A future direction would be to take a group of adults who don't exercise and then half of them have them exercise to see if there's any changes, rather than any changes caused by exercise and if we can see those changes happening. I'm Christina Fiore, MedPage Today.